Hi everyone, everyone hearing the sound of my voice. I wish you all a happy new year, a blessed new year, a successful new year, and an amazing new year. Oh, I believe God will take your your married life your married life into another level i pray that everything every situation every obstacle every stronghold that try to hinder you your marriage from the past years or from the from 2000 years 2000 year 2000 and the past and all or the past years, and I I destroy this influence in Jesus' name. I destroy these strongholds. I remove them out of the way in the name of Jesus. And I pray that the Spirit of the living God will shed light in your marriage, will transform your marriage, will heal your marriage, and will sustain your marriage. Those who are already in it. And those who also are about to enter. I pray that every hindrance. Everything that hinder you. From entering marriage. Everything that hinders you from entering a marriage. It is not your portion. I destroy that stronghold in Jesus' name. I destroy that stronghold in the name of Jesus. I destroy that stronghold in the name of Jesus. Marriage is your portion. God instigated marriage for you. You are, you, you, you deserve marriage. And everything that said no, I disagree. And I say yes, you will marry this year, 2021. Things will go well for you in Jesus' name. Oh, Sister Esther, bless you. God bless you so much. You are welcome. As I said earlier, I wish everyone a happy and prosperous new year, a successful new year, a, a year of breakthrough, a year of achievement, a year full of grace, a year full of anointing. Your marriage life will never remain the same. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the, it, is, it is well and it will be well with you. All those past those obstacles, the challenges, I declare them removed out of the way. In the name of Yeshua. And I said, may the Lord keep you and keep your marriage. In Jesus' name. Today, today we are going to look at what have I entitled the power of marriage? The power of marriage. The power of marriage. The power of marriage. The power of marriage. Hallelujah. Oh, wow. Uh, marriage has, has been powerfully designed. By the one God, the God who instigated it. It has been powerfully in, designed just like the one who designed it. Just like how God is powerful. So he has designed marriage to be powerful. And, and so everyone who intends going for it or who is already in it must also see must also understand it and must also consider marriage as powerful. If, 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 if you fail to catch up, this mystery, this mystery surrounding this divine blueprint, then what happens is that you will be seeing marriage the same way as some other people 
I seen it. How does some people see marriage? In fact, they see it as a human institution. People see the 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 the, the, the world see people see marriage as just human as a human institution rather than God's own institution. That is why they feel they can marry anyone. That's why they feel they can marry anyone or they can, and they can marry anything. Which is why they feel they have the audacity to treat someone or their spouse anyhow. If you have a negative view, negative view, a different view of marriage, rather than seeing marriage as powerful, you will handle it anyhow, or you will handle it your own way. You will see it. In a, in, a, in, a, in a negative view, you, you'll be viewing it negatively. But this subject matter intend to remind you, it intend to remind someone who, who is, who, who is, who, who, who's, who, who, who have the desire to marry, who have the desire to, 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 to see marriage as valuable as God's own institution. God, the, the, the subject matter intend to, intend to remind you that marriage has been powerfully initiated by God. And that if you see it powerful or if you see it powerless, you experience is you experience it powerless, and if you see it as nothing, it will be it will be it will be it will benefit you nothing. But if you value marriage as powerful. As it was, it, it has been divinely designed. If you value, if you, if you value it that way, the way it was, it was designed. It has been designed. Your married life will live to experience the amazing benefits of his uh, his, his, his design design package or design plan. You, 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 you experience if you if you value it and you see it the way it has been designed as as powerful. It will be bene it will be beneficial to you. Now, in order to to make um, make you enjoy such a powerful. An incredible marriage. God created male and female as we know from Genesis. And he pronounced everything powerful into man and woman or male and female. As we know or as we read from Genesis chapter 1. Verse 20, 20, 27 to 28, across 28, it said, and he, he blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and rule 
over everything that exists on earth. It's, it, it, it 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 gives a clear picture of 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 authority of power that has been that that has been that has been that that has been filled in marriage remember god did not create male and female it is not create male and male or female and female. Neither did he declare blessing and authority into same sex or same same gender. But he created female and male and female. And he pronounced blessing into them. He pronounced authority into them as 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 married couple. He did not do it the opposite way we see it today. He did it in his own way. His own the wise God did it in his in his through through wisdom, his own divine wisdom. He did he created male and female. He did not create male and male and spoke blessing and power into the, into their into the into and, and 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 gave gave them and uh, gave them the authority to marry. He didn't do that. He didn't. He, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't create male and male. He create female, male and female. So this incredible blueprint of the wise God has has recreated spiritual generals, spiritual generals such as such as Abraham, such as um, Jacob, such as Moses, such as David, such as Paul and others, and even yourself, yourself, who sometimes think you are nothing or you are nobody. The incredible blueprint has, has recreated great leaders. It has created great scientists. It has created and recreated kings and queens and, and great politicians and name, name them. It has created amazing people and whatever it, it has we see on earth now. All, all these things we see and the, and the, and the works of God which has been recreated and re-expanded. All these things come from the power of marriage. Now, the spirit of marriage which I call the power of marriage need to generate to, to, to generate in, in, in every marriage. It need to generate in every marriage. In order to fulfill God's purpose. The spirit of marriage. Which I call. The power of marriage. It need to regenerate. That spirit need to regenerate. It need to fuel. It need to, it need to shed light. In every true marriage. In order to fulfill. God's purpose. And this can all, all, only be done or it can only happen if you learn, if you learn to put your spouse and, 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 and your marriage first on the lease above any other thing. Above any other thing. Above any other good thing. And even any other good thing that you can imagine. Such as your job, such as your hobby, such as your, even your parent, your career, even your children and friends. Your marriage 
should precede any other good thing apart from God. As we go further, you understand clear. You see that even of line, of of line, marry lines, it lines with God. If you decide, you decide, you decide turning these things, these things I've mentioned, your job. If you decide turning your hobbies, if you decide turning your parent, you decide turning your. Your, your career, even your children and your friends, if you decide turning these things, they are powerful. Uh, they are, what do you call it? They are important. They are good things. If, but if you decide turning these things into pseudo spouse, I call this pseudo spouse. Which, what I mean with pseudo spouse, I mean t t taking the place, if you allow them to take the place of your marriage. It will allow your marriage to begin to fade out. Your, the power of your marriage to begin to fade out. Let me say it again. This is this is the, the, the important aspect, part of the, of the topic. If you decide to choose any other thing apart from God, and even any other good thing apart from God, any other apart from God is number one, but apart from God, any other good thing. Go, any other good thing if you take it if you decide to 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 place it first before your marriage i said the power of your marriage the power the gift the the, the gift of power the gift of married power that gift of married power will will begin to diminish it will begin to fade out as a result there will be no there will be no more energy in the marriage to function in the way God has initiated or designed it. If you take things, any other thing to precede your marriage life, your spouse to precede your spouse, the power, the gift, the powerful gift, the, the, the gift of marriage, the power, the, 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 the power of marriage, that's the gift of marriage. Which is the part, the main energy, the the engine of the marriage, which is which is the power, the spirit of the of marriage, it will begin to fade out. And when why when this begin to fade out, the marriage be, become to wumble. It become to that is where the problem starts. Remember, the gift of the marriage power was given to every separate group of married life. When I'm talking about it, every group, so don't mix it up. Don't mix them up. It has been given to every, we read, what we read Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and 27, good, blah, blah. It create female, male and female, and he said he blessed them. It was a unique, a special, and a particular Group of uh, that's what, that's what our first parent Adam and Eve. But don't forget, they are unique female. Out of them, we came from, but they were unique male and female. So, so every male and female of a different group of a separate group has been gifted, have been given this power of marriage, as God has designed it. Hmm? He created two people. Huh? Out of two people, out of one, he created two people out of one person, so that they become they will, they, 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 they will become one powerful couple. I, I, will, I will prove this. I will prove this in Genesis chapter two, Genesis chapter two twenty one. You know what I'm talking about. Genesis chapter two twenty one said. Genesis chapter 2.21 Genesis chapter 2.21 Genesis chapter 2.21 He said, So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon, upon the man, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up and closed up the flesh. 
at that place. Then the Lord God fashioned into a woman the ribs, which he has taken from the man, and brought her to the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bones, and the flesh of my flesh. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm talking about? So he took, he used, he, took, he created, he, he, he created two people out of one person so that they might become one powerful spouse or family. That's what God, that's what the wise God did. So don't mess them up. Don't mix them up. And don't, don't put one, don't put uh, the, 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 where the one that should don't put don't mix them up in 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 terms of in terms of listing listing them that's what as i go further you get what i'm talking about the gift of your marriage power has been given to you and your spouse let me say it again the gift i don't know if you understand what i'm talking about the gift of your marriage power has been given to you and your spouse and not your friend. It has not been given to your friend. It's for your your friend also have his own power given to him, hey, or him. In his, in his as a married group, it has not been given to your children. Hmm? When he said he blessed them, be multiply, and take authority and take dominion, it has been not been given to your 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 children. It has not. It has not been given. To, it. It has. It's, it's not for your hobbies. It's not for your job. It's. Not, it has not. It's, it's, it's even not for your parents. Which is why the scripture says, "For this reason, eh, I go to the scripture again, which is which is Genesis chapter two, verse twenty-four. It says, "For this reason, eh, a man shall leave his father and his mother, eh, and, and and then be joined to." His wife, and they shall become one. This is the point I'm making. One flesh. So, so, so there is something people don't understand. They don't understand. We just read the Bible, brethren. Just read without, without, without clear understanding. I, I pray that before this, before I end up this message, you will get the picture clear. Mm -hmm. And both become a joint, leave your father. That's why, so leave your, which means your father, your father and your mother had their own power, gift of marriage power. They have their own, that is why they were able to give birth to you. They have their own gift of power, uh, 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 marriage power that has been given to them uh, to function. Even as God designed marriage, He has given to them as a as their as a group as, the, as, in, as in their own marriage. It has been also given to um, 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 your children. Also, will also will also have their own gift of marriage power at the right time. When the, when the time comes, they also will have it. So, so, so to do to to so so, so to, to therefore do everything to protect everything you could to protect the well-being of your marriage by making a room, making a room for its gifted power to function appropriately. So, what the point I'm making is that. I'm not telling, telling you should hate your your children. You shouldn't love your children. That is not the point I'm trying to make. Or you should hate your parent and you shouldn't love your parent. That's not the point I'm trying to make. Or you should hate your friends and, and don't keep malice with your friend. I'm not. I'm not saying that. If I tell you that, I'm wrong. But the point I'm telling you that all these things, they are good. They are good, but... But your marriage, your marriage, your marriage is higher and more than them. If you, if you, if you are, if you are, if you are um, putting a list, if you are making a list, drawing a list, making a list, 
you put your marriage first. One day, eh, one day, one day, if you, you, you don't understand what I'm talking about, if you don't stop, it's time for you, it's time for you to end up this kind of, my friend said, uh, always my friend said, always, uh, I'm going to my friend, always busy with your friend on the phone, all the time your friend, all the time my mom said, my mother said, into the marriage, your mother said, your mother detecting for you in the marriage, your, pap, your father said, I'm going to stay with my mom for a while. If you are done stopping doing this, or oh, oh my oh, my child, my child, you know, my child, you know, my, my son, my, I, if you, one day, one day, one day, your child will tell you, your daughter, or your son will tell you, mom, you, when, when, in the in the kind of in a marriage, you know, there there are there are seasons in a marriage. When you were young, you bring up children, you finish the, you, you giving birth, and you whatever it is, you are growing. It comes to a time, your daughter will tell you, "Mom, I need time for my husband. Oh, I need time for my husband." Uh, it's not that he don't she don't love you. It's not that you don't love her. You don't like, it, but she, she need time. And she's right. She need time. So, so now that time, you two, you need time for your husband and your or your wife. So this is the point I'm making. So your husband is for you for all the time, the rest of your life. But your your daughter will not be with you all the time. Yeah, you can call her, my daughter, something, something, but. But your wife or your husband is with you. So that's why they are first. That's why you are, they are first. They are first. Your friend will not be with you all the time. Your parent will not be with you at the time. But your husband and your wife or your wife, they are for you. They are they are they are for yours or at all times. So you need to be careful. The way you handle your wife, the way you handle your 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 your, your husband, and if you see that power, that power, if you see that power and you consider that power, you grasp your husband and your wife very very firmly to in order to be able to sustain that power. And protect your marriage. In order to see your marriage powerful. It needs to reflect Christ. Let me say it again. In order to see your marriage powerful. It needs to reflect Christ. Jesus will never. Jesus. Christ. Jesus Christ will never ask you for. No. Ask you for. For, for no other thing. That any spouse will not will not want to ask for. He will not ask you for nothing. That any spouse will not will not demand from you. Jesus, he will not ask, ask you anything that any spouse will not demand from you. Now, any married spouse want to be want to be want to be put first above all things any any marriage power hmm? want any 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 husband or any wife wants to be put first above all things so you don't have to also do it you have to also consider this thing so that you don't only expect from one person or one party And the same way Christ, Jesus Christ also, is the firstborn of all creation. Hmm? We see the picture of Jesus. If you see, if you see, see if you if you go to Colossians chapter one, Colossians chapter one, verse verse fifteen. Hmm? Verse 
verse 15. Chapter 1, verse 15. He said, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. Wow. The firstborn of all creation. The firstborn of all creation. And then, and then, and then if you read, but, 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 but uh, let me join before, because of that. If I jump, if you jump to, if you read, you read if, let me read 16. Let me read. For by him all things were created, both in the heavens and on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominion or ruler or authority or all things have been created through him and for him. And then the 17 said, He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Wow. Wow. So, so. The point I was trying to make a Christ, uh, even as your spouse, mm, even as your, your spouse should be put first. Christ also, uh, the scripture is telling us, Christ is the first of everything. As we go further, you you get what I'm, the picture. I'm, very soon you get the picture clearer. Christ. He said he is the firstborn of all creation. And everything is made through him and for him. So now, the scripture said, and the scripture said in Ephesians 5, he, he says to the Christ, the scripture says to, to wives. Hmm? He said, wives, as, as, as Philippians, Philippians chapter 5, verse 22, verse 23, he said, wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. He said, for the husband is the head of the wives, is the head of the wife, as Christ also is the head of the church. So, he said, wife, submit to your own husband as to the Lord. You do it the same way, the same way you do to, Lord, to, to Jesus. Hmm? He said, submit, he said, husband, he, he's telling wives, God is telling wives, the women, wives, the husband. He said, he said, he said, wife, submit to your own husbands the same way you, you submit to the Lord. So, 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 God, let me say the Lord is first. But apart from God, your marriage is the first. Apart from God, uh, your marriage is first. Let them, let, that, that's why I want to put it. So, God is the first first. <laughs> so, your marriage is the second first. For... And then it said, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ also is the head of the church. So you see that, you see that to make, to see your, to see your marriage powerful, you see that you have to align it. You have to align, align it with God, with Christ. And he said to, he said to the husbands, Mm -hmm. He said, husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church. So he referred the wife to, the, to Christ to do it for your husband as Christ. He referred the woman also and the husband also to do that same thing to the wives even as they do to Christ. And Christ is the instigator of marriage. So, so, so to get your marriage to, 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 to maintain that powerful marriage, God has instigated to maintain it. You, your marriage has to reflect Christ. To do it the same way as you do for Christ. Here the Apostle Paul, 
is also introducing another metaphor. Huh? If you look at Ephesians chapter 5, the Ephesians chapter 5, where we if you look at the verse 28, the 28, it said, Husbands ought also to love their own wives as their own bodies. <laughs> you love their as your own bodies. In other words, your own health. Mm -hmm. Let me use this. Let me use this. Let me look. Let me look at that. What Paul is trying to say is that you can you can spend all time, you can spend all time working just because you love money. But when you get sick, mm, when you get sick, out of the pressure, mm, you can no longer enjoy the money. You can no longer enjoy the money. So, whenever you intend to marry, or you intend in marrying, marrying someone, you must know that you have decided to enter into something that has been designed by God. Hmm? So your marriage, your 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 job cannot take the place. If your job you allow your job to take the place, you will enjoy your marriage. If you allow your money to take your place, your 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 money to take the place of of your of your you need money in a marriage. As a matter of fact, don't misunderstand me. But don't let that one money press preside your marriage. Don't let your friends preside your marriage. Don't don't let your 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 parent and everything. If you if you do that, you won't enjoy the benefit. That power in the marriage will fade out. So whenever you intend marrying someone, or you intend marrying, you intend marrying, or you intend marry or or you intend to marry, you must know that you have you 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 have you have decided to enter into something that has been designed by God, the Creator. But if you choose to to turn it your own way or design it your own way, try to design it your own way. You have lots of problem. That is where the problem comes from. That's where the problem begins. Now, why is marriage powerful? Why? Why is it that marriage is powerful? I said, if you design marriage your own way, huh? if you design it your own way, instead of designing, instead of seeing in the way God, the blueprint of God, that is where the problem comes from. So whatever God tells you about marriage, you got to. If you want a long-lasting, a peaceful marriage, a joyful marriage, then you, you need to design, consider marriage the way God has designed it. You, you can choose to do it your own way. But I'm telling you the truth. Now, what is marriage? What is what is power? What is marriage powerful? What why is marriage powerful? Why is it that marriage is powerful? It is powerful because it it has all the power. Huh? Marriage has all the power to set the course of your whole life. Marriage, I say it again. The reason why marriage is powerful is because it has all the power to set the course of your whole life. Simply because it was designed by God. So marriage has the whole power to set the course of your life. So if you if you if you try to if you try to see it and consider it the worldly way or your own way, you will fail. It won't work. It won't work. It will collapse. It won't work. It will be a lot of problems. And that is what 
we have been seeing. So if you are seeing it, or, or you don't want to see it, then do it the way God, the way God has designed it. And that is why God has brought these teachings around and put these teachings in place to help you to sustain your marriage. You, 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 you therefore require, you require the attitude of Christ. Mm -hmm. you, you require the attitude of Christ to maintain the power or the marriage or this marriage power uh, you, you, in order to maintain this power, this gift of marriage power, you need Christ's attitude. You need Christ's character. Huh? Which, 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 which are which are the fruit of the spirit? Which, 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 which uh, the book of Galatians on the line? Huh? Remember the, the book of Galatians chapter 5. If you from the, I mean 22 to 23, in the lines is a love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. If you have this character, this fruit, this gift. They, they will boost. They will boost your marriage. This gift will boost your marriage. This will will, will boost your power of your gift of the marriage gift of the of the, the gift of the, the the power the power of your marriage. If you don't want to, if you don't want to eat, I will end like this. If you don't want to. If you don't want to learn to eat the only food that can keep your marriage healthy. If you don't want to learn to eat the only food that can keep your marriage healthy. Then another food, another food is ready to cause sickness. Is ready to cause sickness in the marriage. Another food is ready, ready to cause problem. In the married life, if you don't want to eat. The only food that God has designed or created for marriage which is his directions which is his principles if you ignore them the another food will take place another food another negative food a food that contain virus a food that contains virus will take place and then will torment your marriage. Which is God, which God don't want you to experience that. That's why, that's why his message has been put, it's been, it's been, it's been put in place. That's why his message is, is, is being, is being, his teachings is being, um, Available for you. May the Lord bless you. As I said earlier before I start, may he keep your marriage. May the spirit of God shed light in your marriage. I said this year, your marriage will never remain the same. Your intention to marry the grace of God will make every way for you. If you are not you are not married yet, I speak grace into your life. I speak grace into your life. I speak grace, 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 the grace of God to make every way. The grace of God to remove every lock, 
to remove every hindrance, everything that hinders you from going into marriage. I destroy that stronghold in Jesus' name. And you are who you who always you also in already in, in the marriage. Every challenges. I tear them down in Jesus' name. I tear every stronghold that causes challenges that try to try to torment your marriage to destroy your marriage. I remove them out of the way. And I pray that may the light of God shine. May the light of God shine. May the light of God shine in your marriage in the name of Jesus. I speak light. The Bible said, in the beginning God created heaven and earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the earth. And he said, the spirit of the Lord move on the face of the earth. I pray that, Lord, may your spirit move. Holy Ghost, move in every chaos, in every marriage. Everyone who hear the sound of my voice, I pray that every chaos, every challenges, he or she is encountering the marriage. I speak the spirit of God. To penetrate, to move in that darkness and to change the situation into light. To change that darkness situation in the light, in, in, into light. I speak Christ. To take, I speak Christ. I declare Christ in your marriage. To Christ, the light of Christ to take control in your marriage. The light of Christ. To handle your marriage and to bring peace, joy in your marriage and to heal your marriage. There will be no divorce. Divorce is, divorce is not your portion. In the name of Jesus, this year 2021, I said divorce is not your portion. You will live to rejoice in every area of your life. In every area of your marriage, you will live to rejoice. You will live to rejoice. You will live in peace. You will live in success. You will live in transformation. Because you have chosen Jesus to be your strong tower. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you. In Jesus name.